Okay, we left off on doing all the masking fluid and I decided to call her Water Woman. I am going to have some fish floating through her hair towards the end and rushing water for hair as well as the background I'm going to be doing um, a watery look. The colors we're going to be using are my three options of blue that I, I have put in bottles and added 99% isopropyol, if I can say it. And I always try to give a little sample, but each color is a little different in its um, deepness and, and pigmentation. On uh, this ultramarine blue, I only put up to the start of this of the tape that amount of pure ink, and the rest of it is the 99% isopropyl. Now this is in a full bottle, but that uh, it started out and will finish. Um, I also grabbed us uh, some India teal and sky blue. Okay, done the same way, okay? And um, we're gonna be using some masking fluid again. Got my ruling pin out by joggle.com. Only get this one. You'll love me for it. Um, and because I decided to put fish. So now I need to come in with the um, uh, masking fluid and mask off my fishies, okay? because I'll do them last after I've blown the, I'm thinking of blowing the ink of, of the hair, watery hair, you know, and then I'll come back. We'll have some nice white, whoops, if I don't knock it off, nice white accents that we made with the masking fluid. And then of course, uh, when we unveil the fish, We'll erase, you know, pencil marks, all that, and we were going to paint that some kind of a tropical uh, fish, you know, bright, you know, in color. Now, I'm not sure exactly what I'm going to do with the face, what color it's going to be, what I'm going to do there. I'm thinking if I got water rushing through that it needs to ha have some kind of an oceany, watery feel. So I'll deal with that when it gets there. We may end up just erasing the ear. Uh, it may be in the way. Um, we will see. <laughs> so first time creating something and it's going to be a water woman, meaning a um, side view of a woman's face. I've seen so many artists do this concept and different methods like um, uh, doing uh, paint pouring, fluid arts. I've seen um, uh, pencil, colored pencil, just all kinds of different things. So I thought, well, gosh, I gotta get in the niche. And I'm talking way, way too much. So let's get to work. And I'm gonna start off by um, masking off the fish and letting it dry. So I'll do that behind the scenes since you already know what masking fluid is. Lots of laughs. <laughs> I had to do a little more. I got to thinking it's uh, underwater, water woman, we got fish. We need the stuff that lives under the sea. What is uh, some, um, what are those called? The plants that live in the ocean and they're funny looking and all that stuff. So I drew some funny looking ones here. So now I'm gonna have to get the masking fluid back out and mask all of that. Okay, so behind the scenes I'm gonna do that. I'm trying to keep you up to date. How many minutes? I think we're on about 15 minutes. Sorry guys, really wanna make it a shorter long video. It's kinda hard, huh? But anyway, let me get these going. As I'm waiting for things to dry, I thought I'd share a little tip with you that I do. Use one of your tiles, you know, and if you're wondering 
what color blue that you want and it's not that clear when you look through the bottles you know the exactly what color you're gonna get unless you have a fantastic memory which I don't <laughs> anyway just take a little drop of the of them and put them on one of your white tiles because you know just taking a little alcohol with a tissue and this will wipe clean. I don't want to set it down because we've got this drying. She's drying still. Almost done and ready to go. So that's why I'm choosing blues. Got a sky blue, a teal blue, an ultramarine blue, and a saf uh, sapphire blue. Yes, I know. The pencil marks did not work as well as I had wanted. Uh, didn't want to try uh, an ink pen. I should have probably grabbed... Um, a marker, a uh, ink, mar uh, alcohol ink marker. Didn't think of that, guys. All right, but that's sky blue, teal, ultramarine, and sapphire. So this gives me a good idea on what shades I'd like to do on the painting itself. Okay, just a little tip. You want to test your colors out, tiles. That's your go-to. I thought you might like watching me put the first layer of blue on. So, this is kind of what I do. I get a smoother application of the alcohol ink by doing it this way. And of course, we're going to move, remove the masking fluid when I decide exactly what color I want to go with. So, as you can see, that's not bad. You know, we don't have a lot of um, lines or corrections and things like that to have to do. By the way, we decided to go with sapphire blue. So, that is my choice on that. So we're just going to let that dry just a little bit. And um, then I'm going to come through with uh, using the uh, air compressor. You can use whatever you like to blow things like alcohol ink around. This is big guy that just got to really pump it and push the ink. Um, straw these big old straws from cups you can buy those work great um, they're smaller straws too of course and uh, or you can get you one of these which is fantastic I love mine um, you can really do a lot with this little guy right here I might get paint all over it <laughs> it's my husband's he's gonna go hey <laughs> can you keep that cleaner and I should. But anyway, there you go. <laughs> and, and I got it. Anyway, um, that's how you get the blue on there without your paintbrush marks. You know how alcohol ink is very finicky. Just take the needle of the bottle and just let it come out as it does. And you're going to get a nice smooth look, which is what I got. Okay, I'm going to pause a minute and take a little look at it and decide the colors that I want through the hair. Now, the fish could be the big pull by making them beautiful, bright, tropical fish. And the hair more smooth, I'm not sure. So, by the way, as a person, maybe you're taking some lessons from me, I don't know, learn, yeah, but... Um, take a minute just to sit back once in a while and take a good look at it you know sit back <sighs> take a breath because alcohol inks you know you, you want to make sure you don't make any mistakes is basically the big worry there uh, so my little tip to show you how to get a smooth background uh -huh, I found that tip and it works I used to try to do it with brush and then the alcohol would make it spread in the ink in the alcohol ink pen you know or used even a regular brush and it left marks so the 
best way to do it right with the needle right on the paper by the way I'm, I'm using Duralar I forgot to mention that Duralar is the kind of paper that I use I tape it down it's gonna have a border um, and I do it with glass yes and my cake which is very well covered <laughs> my uh, whatever you call these cake spinners whatever they work awesome with alcohol ink yeah, because you you know a lot of times you don't you can't put your hand on there so it's much better just to move it around to where you can work all right I'm gonna do what I said I'm gonna do take a minute so second for you okay I thought I'd let you kind of watch me do a uh, coloring of the hair here's the other idea and what I did to make sure it's, well why is it stuck there we go um, using my tile again and I mixed the teal and the sapphire blue and they make a nice mix so that's this is very handy those little tiles for, you know checking your color and uh, remember everything has been masked even though you can see the pencil there's no uh, leaking going to happen. Okay, let's get to doing it. What I started to do was just put some alcohol in the direction that I want my color to flow. Yeah, used my air blower, gave it a good blast because I wanted it to go as far as possible. going to try some uh, India ink this time. For variations of color. I'm hoping this is going to be pretty. Here, I don't mind texture, you know, kind of looking for that. I'm wondering if I shouldn't take that hairline off of there. Like that. Yeah, I should have, should have, would have, could have. Alright, let's start up there and below. Because that's right where her hairline would be. So, I'm putting a little bit of alcohol there. Squirt some of this turquoise. Let it sit there a minute. And then do a blow down. And let's do the same thing up here. And maybe switch color. that Indian blue with this. This is working good. I didn't put alcohol there for a reason. Now I'm going to here. blue down there. Yeah. That worked really well. Okay. And it was looking to 
just a little too teal. I don't know. But I feel like I'm going to do layers upon layers, which is, you know, because it's hair. And it's going through the water. Alright, let's see here. I got sapphire in my hand. Let me take a look at my hairline there. Okay. long line. I'm going to put a little drop of our India ink. Let's sit there for just a minute. Should have maybe put it a little higher. And then with a light push and then a heavier push. Push, push, push down that alcohol. The reason it's moving is because I put the alcohol there. Okay. It's looking kind of pretty. I'm kind of liking it. Now the sapphire blue acts a little differently than the India ink. I've used the India ink before, so it's a, that's why I knew. It's a little more challenging. It doesn't want to flow as easy. But keep at it. Because it's a beautiful color, really. Don't worry about anything, because nothing is going to get colored. That masking fluid, you can't break it. Unless you rub it off, of course, but we're not going to do that. No. Okay. Now, let's put in some of our blue. Just like that. Scotch tape is the best liner, by the way. It's better than the blue tape. It, it truly does not go... When I lift off the tape, you're going to see a nice white border. No bleeds or anything, I promise. I'm trying to get into that hair mode. Like I said, it doesn't matter. I'm just going to use that paint, though. Okay, there we go. Looking pretty, I think. What do y'all think? It needs a little help there. about that. This right here is a real easy fix, as you see. Alright. Let's get us some of that pretty blending. Love those colors together. It's awesome. Thank you, Teal. I think we need a little teal down there. Dropping things. All right, all right. Blue up in there. Okay. It's almost time for me to take a step back and look at what's happening make some decisions but I'm gonna layer just one more good drop I love that teal blue that, that teal blue is just awesome
worry that it's over the border again. I keep saying that, but okay. I think it's time for me to stop again. Take a moment. Woo, Water Woman. I'm liking it. Wait till I do the fish. This is going to pop. It's going to pop. Okay. Going to take just a second. Be right back. Now I've decided to come in. I removed all the masking fluid off the lady. And uh, I'm coming in with just a little bit of uh, oh, oh, pinata brass. Okay. Oh, and I have it in a little little dish here, reinactivated actually, and I'm using my tile to kind of tap it before I come here. I'm a little hesitant. Don't want too much. Um, the force when you're underwater swimming. I happen to have a scuba diving license, and I love the water. Growing up in Florida, going to the beach all the time and I know that feeling when I'm underwater and the force comes first right at your face and I think that that's where the reflection um, would cause this to be lighter than the hair and etc. And then I got to thinking well so that means I should bring some tone of color besides just, you know, a little bit of blue water and maybe the pinata. So this is a total maybe. It's not good. It's it's not, you know, it's I could take a alcohol uh, on one of these swabs and uh, we could remove it. So I thought I'd give it a try though. Oops, that's way too much. <laughs> Oops, and then I just pull and run. Okay, tap, tap. Thank you. Get back out of there. Boy, there's that one piece. Oh, there we go. Right at her lip that uh, messed up. I thought it was going to be there permanently. <laughs> like, please. I wanted to... Just, I don't know what I wanted, but I wanted, I guess, some color of a face, some sort, who knows. And also, this is going to give it a really pretty glitter <laughs> when it's all done, so that'll be fun. Okay, I think that's enough glitter, especially right there. Let's move that over a little bit. Yeah, okay, it works for me. There's there's a little something something. Okay, very good. I thought you might want to enjoy me. Let me put my little brass and save it right over there because I'll use it in it for another project or on here. Okay, what I wanted to do was to go ahead and take off the masking fluid from the hair and the fish both and see what we got because I'm worried about these random la in fact it was last night when I started <laughs> had the idea to do it and I was just kind of whipping it together just kind of having fun so I may have put too many white highlights we will have to see <laughs> i hope not no I'm not, I'm not i'm not hating that so far we'll see it's all changeable just making sure i get all the fishy and all the extra lines out and as you see masking fluid is fun I thought I'd share this part with you. I don't know if you're like me, but I like to peel things like this off. And I don't know why. Um, feels good to my hand, maybe. I don't know. I'm in touch with my painting. How about that? I'll get deep on you. <laughs> if you hear something, that's my 
water sprinklers coming on outside to water our bushes. So, excuse that. Uh, let's see. Do I have them all? It does feel like it now. I have a bunch of underwater growing plants that I have right here, and they're still masked <laughs> with the ED on there. And we have a fish here that I'd like to do, but I'm afraid. I'm afraid if I start him, I'll, well, let's try it. Maybe not, it'll just be him. I didn't want to do the, ah, yeah. See, I didn't want to do that. I didn't want to reveal the uh, plant life, but we did, so live with it, Crystal. All right. Letting you watch, but I can feel that time. And you going, oh, would you please hurry? If so, please use fast forward. I don't have any commercials, so you could fast forward easy. All right, here we are. And now what I'm going to do is erase my little fish, each one as I go. I'm going to go ahead and paint it. I don't mind the streaks. I like it. Very good. Cool. All right, I'm going to work on this guy and this guy and this guy, this guy, this guy, and this guy. And I'll be back. I'll, I'll, if you'd like to see me paint a fish, I'll come back. I'll think about it. <laughs> I'll do it behind the scenes. I thought I'd bring you along for maybe a little bit of painting if you're interested. Here we are. I don't know. Sometimes I turn it this way, it might be a better view for you. But we've started our plants here, and I decided to go with orange. And I painted one fish. It's an alien fish. Don't ask me what it is, because I couldn't tell you. But I thought maybe y'all would like to see. Oh, that I'm using markers, by the way. Alcohol ink markers by Bienio. B-I-A-N-Y-O. Anyway, they have a small end and a large end. They're absolutely wonderful. So, for stuff like this that I don't want, you know, which would I could lose control of, I'm using the uh, ink markers. By the way, Sharpies, if you thought, you know, those are alcohol ink pens. And they come in a variety of colors and cheap too. So uh, there's a little tip. I didn't know that. And uh, I thought that was pretty cool. So I got me a set. And I use them every once in a while. And what I'm doing is using a technique to go. It's kind of neat, these pens. They're like. They're like, I want to say watercolor, pretty close to it, but you can go over it, maybe put dots, you know, to give um, shadow or texture or whatever. And that's basically what I'm doing, kind of like a little circle everywhere one of these weird plants are. Now I need to erase that before I continue. But I thought you might want to know. And as you can see, just me adding a little bit more uh, there, here and there, right there, it, it gave it more realism. So, um, you know, I'm going to be doing that again, you know, back down here. And of course, it's dry now. And it'll do the same thing. But Right now, let's get these little guys covered up. And this weird plant, I'm not sure what it is either, but it's something that's round, like a leaf-like underneath the water. So, she's at the reef, like a reef area. And I'm... I'm kind of questioning myself on whether or not I want to put more fish in the painting, like in her hair. Not sure on that. I may not do it. I don't know. When I erased one of them, it looked pretty, and I could fill it in with some 
of uh, more uh, paint carefully because the masking fluid I did last night, like this teardrop look, I love that. That shows the motion of the hair. And I erased one of the fishes and I thought, you know, that might be, like, I don't know whether I want a bright fish in her hair. So there you go. That's where I'm at. So I'm erasing the pencil marks, getting that out of the way. And we'll do them up here real quickly. And that way you're not bored to death. But I do, like I say, come back over it again to give shadow, that kind of thing. And I think of that when I'm coloring this in, you know, like I'm never going to get that white. So I'm going to leave that space right where it's at for light. Okay, and then that went like that. Then we had one here. I'm one, yeah, I forgot where I drew the pencil marks. Now I'm just kind of guessing. Can y'all see? I started to think, is my head in the way? I do tend to put my head pretty close. Coming, as you see, you come back over with the marker and get some kind of interesting something going on. There we go. We attach them right there. Why not? Who knows how they grow? I sure don't. Okay, now we're going to have that leaf-like, well, I'll put a little bit more texture in this one. It's screaming out at me like, hey, don't forget me. Okay, and with that one, I was thinking a green color would work. So I've got my green out. Yeah, just like that. Maybe make little lines. Yeah, so that there's a white line in between. That'd be cool. Why not? Freedom of expression. That's what you like about art, right? We can do what we want to do. Make whatever world we think we live in. <laughs> right now I'm feeling that leaf is a little bigger than it. There we go. So it's like the fish is swimming. You know, um, over the top of the leaf and beside those silly little amoeba-like looking creatures I made. Which are all alive, by the way. So interesting. I love to scuba dive. I can't really anymore because of back issues, but I certainly can snorkel. Texture in our leaves, our leaf. There we go. Yeah, I'm thinking that's really working. And actually, the leaf color should come down into here. Now it has blue, but look at that. You can come right over it. And there's your green. 
Yeah. I like that. that. That makes a little more sense. Like the leaf is coming up. Yeah. That's pretty. And plus, I like that green in there. Pretty awesome. Yeah. Phew. You know, I think that I'm gonna do a little green down here. Because it's looking so weirdish. There we go. these markers you can just kind of do your own thing go right over other colors if you need to very cool yeah why not why wouldn't there be different colors let's make some amoebas that are green why not that makes a little more sense too doesn't it be green down there. I want that to be green too. Yeah, there you go. Better. Better, better. There we got our lovely face of our lady. And she is beginning to swim through this stuff. Okay, I'm loving it. I want to bring out her face a little bit more, you know, so that it's a little bit, so I may, yeah, maybe if I came in just with a blue marker and was very careful and outlined that profile, that might work, right? All right, let me do some figuring out, erasing these fish, deciding whether or not I want to keep the fish in the hair. Or, or not. Let it be the show and a little bit of extra on the side. And uh, the focal point I had wanted to be the face. So I'm going to figure that out too. Okay, so second for you and a minute for me. What are we at? Checking our time there. Looks like we're whew, getting up there and I'm just talking. All right. I'm going to do some work behind the scenes. A little catch up on where we are. I think we're just about done. Yes, I'll give a nice flyover. But I feel like we're done. When you, when you see the flyover, I believe you're going to see the face, which I think turned out really good. Wow. I love it. I'm glad I didn't do the fish in the hair. That's plenty enough. You know, the star of the show is the woman with the hair. I, I'm, I, you know, there you go. Done. Uh, and I'll put my signature and everything and give you a flyover. Thank you for being with me, by the way, so far. And if you made it through the video, I did try my best to make it as short as I could. It just takes time to make art, you know? And uh, I love watching the whole process. Um, but, you know, I, it seems like the consensus is that people want it shorter. So shorties and short teaching. Uh, I did my best. Oh, please subscribe if you like me, if I taught you anything at all, and you had a good time. I sure had a good time. I love doing what I do. I would do it whether I'm filming it or not. Okay, I'm going to get to the flyover. All right, here's our flyover. Give you kind of a look. I always put my... Duralar on a piece of glossy inkjet paper. 
anybody wants to know what kind of paper, let me know. I can leave it. Uh, if you make a comment about it or whatever, I'll answer you. And just how pretty that is up close, by the way. If you enjoyed the colors of her wild water hair and her face, that has a pinata brass, so it gives off a glimmer that I'm not able to seeming to be able to do with my camera right now. There's our cute little fish and some amoebas, I think they're called, underwater type of plant and a tropical fish. She's got her eyes closed because she's an underwater swimming woman. And her hair is just all in the water. I just love it. I don't know about anybody else, but I'm in. <laughs> I'm proud of it. Thank you for watching. And again, it's, uh, I'm going to call it the underwater woman. Yeah. So now I have one in alcohol inks. <laughs> okay. You have a good day. Thank you if you made it to the end of the video. My truest oh, thank yous. Oh, don't forget to subscribe if you're not a subscriber. Have a good day. Merry, Merry Christmas. Bye.